Regroover's machine learning algorithms allow it to process sound into very different forms. I'm going to start with an audio clip that I don't even really like very much. It's uh, some random 80s loop that Ableton installed at some point. And I'm going to turn it into something really quite different. So first, I'll drag and drop that clip from live, and this works with any drag and drop host, directly into the Regroover plugin. It takes a moment to analyze that file. And then once it's done that, I'm going to make a couple of adjustments. Well, it's going to sound a little bit too slow, so I'll uh, have the tempo. So it's at 90 BPM, which is what this loop was. Now, after adjusting the tempo and choosing the number of layers that I want, you'll hear individual components selected out of this original loop. This might even sound a little bit odd to your ears, and that's because they're used to hearing these sounds in the larger context. So you find out how much information is or isn't contained in this file. But with these components, it's still possible to get really creative. One of the first places I can start is by moving these wipers around. I can change the length of individual layers inside that loop. Not the whole loop at once, but individual layers. And that's really fun to create these kind of interesting polyrhythms. This opens up other possibilities, like I can replace this kick drum. But I can also take portions from inside layers and then bring them out of that loop and process them elsewhere. I can do that inside Regroover itself, but since today I'm working at Ableton Live, I'm going to just drag and drop uh, into the host. It's a new 1.7 feature of Regroover. And then I can use it as a clip, stick it simpler, works with other drag and drop hosts as well. And so uh, that allows you to chop up a loop, not just with slices, but slices inside layers and do stuff with that elsewhere, as you can hear here. Now let's put all of this together. So of course, what this means for remixers is it's the ability to process sound, not just through frequency or slicing up time, but pulling layers out of individual sounds, really reworking recorded audio. In this case, I've transformed the rhythm of the original loop, replaced the kick drum, pulled some other sonic elements out, and added effects. 